welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to look at another accessibility feature. Um, if you have some visual impairment, you might have sometimes difficulty seeing where the text cursor is if you want to type something. And uh, there are options in Windows 11 where you can actually make it a lot more visible so that you don't have to you know, search for it because you have a hard time depending on um, you know, visual disabilities of all kinds, including when you get older. We don't actually have the same vision we had when we were young. So, what options are available for the text cursor? Right-click on your Start button in Windows 11. Go into the Settings. On the left side, you will have Accessibility. And you'll have an option called Text Cursor. When you click here, the text cursor will have different options. Now, the first one that might be the only thing that you want to do is change the thickness of the cursor. So if you, of course, move this, it gives you an idea of how thick it's going to be, but you can click, for example, and find a setting. Look at how big it is now. So it's much bigger, much more visible. If you have a hard time, simply put that slider and, and put it to the size that you need it to be so that it's easy for you to see um, in here. Now, there could be another way to do it. Maybe that's not necessarily the way you want it, but you want to have some visual um, aspect, something that will actually attract your attention. For example, on the top here, you have text cursor indicator. This is another way, actually, to find the text cursor, and it is in a different way. Instead of having the text cursor being bigger or smaller, it adds a color, a indicator that shows you where it is. So when you turn it on, it will actually give you the possibility of what size you want it and a color. So for example, here I have blue. Now there's the size of it here that you can see. It gives you an idea here what it looks like on the top on the text preview but everywhere you go even here if i find a setting look at how these blue little bubbles appear on top and bottom of the text cursor so it could be this it could be a combination of the size of the text cursor and of course the bubble so that you can find it easily and of course the bubbles are you know in different sizes different colors you just click the color you want and here you go and so just choose the color you want. You can also add a custom color by going into this color palette here and say, well, I want to have it, you know, dark blue or darker blue. And here you go. It adds a color to the choices that you have. You always have a visible mark here. So it could be a mix of size, color, and the size of the bubbles on each side. When you write, you will see it. It actually follows the text on your computer. One aspect is that some of the functionalities will actually help here, sometimes not. So, for example, the text, um, the cursor size, the cursor thickness does not follow in a browser sometimes, but adding the indication will follow and will give you that option and show you where your cursor is. So. It could be that if the cursor thickness doesn't work in an application that you want, at least you can have a text cursor indicator that will show up on every type of software that you'll use. So these are the different options for Windows 11 for the text cursor, size, thickness, and of course the indicator with your color, and of course also the size of the bubble that shows you where that text cursor is on your screen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.